We will see example number 2 for solving the set of congruence equations using Chinese remainder theorem. So before solving this, as I already mentioned, only one condition we have to check for and if that condition is satisfied, then we can solve the given congruences using CRT. M1, M2, M3. Here M1 is 5, small m2 is 7 and small m3 is 8 and GCD of these three numbers should be 1. In other words, these three numbers are relatively prime. Yes, 5, 7 and 8 are relatively prime because there are no other numbers except 1 that can divide 5, 7 and 8 in common. So we will solve. Now we will start writing this. What is the generic equation? A1 mod M1 which is congruent to x. The same x is congruent to a2 mod m2. x is congruent to a3 mod m3. And it goes on up to x is congruent to a power n a n mod m n. Okay. So just compare with this with the given set of equations. So the given a1 is equal to a2 is equal to a3 is equal to and m1 is equal to m2 is equal to and m3. So what is a1? It is 3. It is given. Just compare a1 mod m1. a1 mod m2. What is a2? 1. a3 is 6. What is m1? It is 5, 7, 8. Okay. So in the given path, we have taken a1, a2 and a3, m1, m2 and m3 from the question. Now we will have to calculate capital M1 and its inverse, capital M2 and its inverse, capital M3 and its inverse and after putting all these values and we have to perform more capital M. So what is the formula for finding capital M? So we will calculate capital M. Capital M is equal to small m1 into small m2 into small m3 which is equal to 5 into 7 into 8. So 35 into 8 which is equal to 17,7280. So capital M is equal to 280. So we need to find out, we will put a box like this, we need to find out capital M1, capital M2 and capital M3, capital M1 inverse, capital M2 inverse, capital M3 inverse, capital M. So once we find out all these values, then we can apply those values to the equation and we will solve it easily. Now we have calculated capital M is equal to 280. So we are solved. Okay. Now we will calculate capital M1. Now we will calculate M1. How will you calculate M1? It is equal to M divided by small m1 which is equal to 280 divided by 5 which is equal to 56. So M1 we have calculated which is equal to 56. Now we will calculate for M2 as well as M3. Capital M divided by small m2 which is equal to 280 divided by 7. 4 times 40. And M3 is equal to capital M divided by We calculate for M3. M3 is equal to M divided by small m3, which is equal to 280 divided by what is the value of M3? It is 8, which is equal to 35. We will substitute those values 40 and 35. Yes, 40, 35. Yes, fine. Now we got M1, M2, and M3. We will have to find out its inverse M1 inverse, M2 inverse, and M3 inverse. Say M1 into its inverse M1 inverse will give you, see, 1 is the multiplicative inverse for any two numbers. Any numbers under multiplication. So M1 into its inverse will give, will give you the remainder 1 but here mod is involved so M1 what is M1? It is mod 5 which is equal to what is the value of M1? 56 into its inverse is equal to 1 mod 5. To solve this very easily you can apply extended Euclidean algorithm. If you want to know more about extended Euclidean algorithm you can just refer my previous YouTube videos which I had posted. Those videos will definitely help you to solve, uh, the, find out the multiplicative inverse using extended Euclidean algorithm. 
So for simplification purpose, I will start with 1. 56 into 1, 56. 56 when it is divided by 5. Yes, 11 times 55. And the remainder is 1. Yes, I got the remainder 1. So the multiplicative inverse for 56 under mod 5 is 1. Now we will calculate for M2. M2 with its inverse should give you remainder 1 under mod 7. Under mod 7. M2 into its inverse. Okay. What is the value of M2? We have already calculated 40. So 40 into 1. We will start with 1. 40 into 1? 40. 40 divided by 7. 5 times 35 and the remainder is 5. No, we don't want that. We want the remainder to be 1. So we will apply 2. 40 into 2? 80. 40 into 2? 80. 80 divided by 7? 7. 11 times 77 and the remainder is 3. No, we don't want that. We will start with 3. 40 into 3? 120. 120 when it is divided by 7. 7. Yeah, we are getting 1. Yes, 3 is the multiplicative inverse for 40 mod 7. Now we will calculate for M3. M3 into its inverse, M3 inverse will give you remainder 1 under mod 8. This is the third equation. So M3, what we have calculated for M3, this is 35 into its inverse will give you 1 under mod 8. We will start with 1. 35 into 1, 35. 35 when it is divided by 8. 4s are 32 and the remainder is 3. No, we need remainder to be 1. So this is not suitable. So we will we'll take 2. 35 into 2 is 70. 70 divided by 8. 8, 8 times 64, the remainder is 6. No, we need remainder to be 1. Now we will apply or we will substitute or we will put 3. 35 into 3 is 105. We will divide it with 8. 8 ones are 8, remainder 2. Bring this 5 here. So 3 times 8, 3, 24 and the remainder is 1. Yes, 3 is the multiplicative inverse. For 35 mod 8. 35 mod 8, 3 is the multiplicative inverse. Okay. Now we got all the required values. Now we will substitute all the values in this equation and we will get the final x. So let us say. So x is congruent to what is a1? It's given in the first thing 3 into m1 56 into m1 inverse 1 plus a2 1 m2 m2 inverse plus a3 m3 m3 inverse mod capital M where we have already calculated capital M and the value for capital M is 280. See, remember when we solve this problem, we should not get confused like sometimes, you know, I've seen some students who used to make mistakes in this areas particularly. Instead of this M1, they will take this M1. They will take this M1. So, remember this M1, this M2 and this M3 is applied in two places. These three uh, values are applied in only two places. One is for calculating this capital M. And this M1, M2, M3 are used as a moduli when you find when you, you want to apply inverse. M1 into M1 inverse is congruent to 1 mod 5. M2 into M2 inverse is congruent to 1 mod 7. Okay, in only these two places, these two numbers are used. Now, when you solve this value, you will get x to be 78. Okay, so that this value, divide that value with the 280, you will get the final remainder as 78. Now, how will you check this value? X 78, right? So, we will apply this is X to be 78. 78 divided by 5. Yes, the remainder is 3. 78 divided by 7. 7, 11 times 77, remainder is 1. 78 
divided by 8. Yes, you get the uh, remainder as 6. Thus, we have solved the final value of x using Chinese remainder theorem. Again, I want to remind it, this can be solved only when these three are relatively prime. Thank you.